What's up guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So check us out all decked out in armor, iron armor. So we've been in here in this temple, we've already explored it. We got us a couple of books, some diamond armor, a couple golden apples, and the obsidian's real nice. That's more than enough to make another portal. Um, I've got one more temple that I know of. Um, let's see, I got a village with a blacksmith, but I'm not really interested. And that's normally just some basic iron armor, which we already have. So right now where we're heading is we're going to head towards the end portal, towards the stronghold, and try to find us a library. So I found it, you know, like I talked before, finding you the end in creative, marking down those coordinates is a pretty good idea. And then you can kind of go swinging your pickaxe around. And find you the uh, the little libraries and chop you some bookshelves. It's, I don't know if it's faster, but it seems to be a, a little bit easier than trying to farm a bunch of cows for leather and sugarcane. Even though I planted down a bunch of sugarcane back at the little base, kind of home base spot we've got going on right now. So, so if I remember right, it's over here. We're kind of directly north of our starting map, just one map over. And if I remember, it's in this corner. What would, it, what would that be? Northwest corner in a dark oak forest. So let's chuck this arrow out. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's this way. So we're going to go do that. We're going to go find the other desert temple. I think there's a village right next to the next one, so we'll kind of check around there and see what's going on as far as what we have for villagers. And then uh, probably do a little bit of mining. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to the nether. We're going to try to get us some uh, wither skulls since we got a looting three book. And maybe fight us the wither this episode and try to get us an early game beacon. So, getting to be night. Now, hmm, that's a sunflower plane to our left. As I said before, the end portal is located around a dark oak forest. Hmm. Yeah, none of this is looking familiar. I explored 11 maps in creative, but I don't remember this. No, I kind of have it stuck in my brain where that end portal was. So let me look at my book real quick. Wait. Oh, man. It's that way. <laughs> we went to the wrong corner. Oh, well. Derp number one for this video. Things happen. We got to see a little bit of the map or a little bit of the world. So, let's grab some sheep. We're going to need to make a bed, sleep through the night. Come come here. Come come here. Stop running. This is two. Right, let's go find us a third. And we might as well kill off a decent group of cows real quick. So, let me get a bed set up. Let me sleep through the night and cut. And I will come back to you guys here in just a second. When we've found what we're looking for. So what's up guys? We actually had a friend pop on the world. Um, he met us up in that corner. We went across. I forgot to record the footage. Kind of just got to gabbing a little bit. And yakking. And uh, went down and found the portal. Forgot to count how many eyes of enders were already on there. And... Uh, Grabbed us some bookshelves. As you see, we're fully decked out in iron armor right now, or uh, diamond armor. So we got us some depth strider. That's real nice. And I think we did put the looting on the. No, we haven't put the looting on the pickaxe yet. But we've been putting in some work. We did a lot of mining. Uh, a buddy of mine, Matt Attack, came on here. He did a bunch of mining. I was setting up some basic stuff, farms and whatnot, so there it is. I'm looking on my map and it's dead ahead. So, <clears throat> it's pretty cool. This one's right next to a village. I don't know, this would be kind of a cool place for a 
base, I have a few things kind of rolling around in my head. So let's go down here together and we'll check this out. See what we get. Oops. I've got an efficiency pickaxe now too. There we go. A little bit of lag from the autosave. All right. So we got some apples. An okay book. The bones will definitely take. And I'll take the string. Oops, some iron. Frostwalker 1, that's not bad. Take the gunpowder, why not? Mm, just some mob drops. Everything but the rot rotten flesh. Let's go. There we go. Three diamonds. A golden apple. Not bad. Not a bad little... Not a bad little loot. So, and then, uh... <clears throat> I didn't show this in the previous clip, but I always dumped it, or jump down here and I take these nine blocks of TNT. Why not? Let's fill this hole back in. Where do we come up? There we go. Let's go up here. <laughs> Good quick move placement. Oops. Put the orange clay back. Make it look like we were never here. So, you know, Frostwalker 1 and Bane of Anthropods. It's not really that great, but three diamonds, that's good. A couple golden apples. So, I brought my other ones I found with me too. Four total. What does he got? Sharpness? Eh. It's not the best. That's pretty good. Hmm. Man, I really want to put this guy away. Now well, let's go check out the rest of the villagers. What do you got? Fire protection. Nah. Hello? Nobody home? I'm going to do a villager training hall and all that stuff that I had in the other base. So, I'm not too worried about that villager, but that was a nice trade. So, any book that you can get that has a level 5 enchantment on it's pretty decent. Hey, armor, you dropped your torch, man. I fell in a hole. I haven't seen a farmer yet. There's one right there. Are you a farmer or what? Shepherd. Nah. Oh, I was hoping they'd have a farmer. Otherwise, I'm going to have to create a breeder and get me one, but let's check in here. Last two homes. Knock, knock. Nobody home. Hello? Nobody in there either. Oh, well. There's one decent guy in there, but we'll come back to it. So this is pretty neat right here, I think. Temple right next to a village. I think that'd be a cool place to set up a base, but anyway, guys, let me get back to the base. I'm going to make a quick cut, and I think we're going to go dive into the nether here in just a minute. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. Oh, welcome back, guys. So we've dumped off all the loot, and we had a couple more people on, so i got to get this armor and saddle off this horse. And yeah, we're going to go. We put the looting on our sword. We got some... We've already been in the nether once, obviously, with the heat-resistant potions. Or the fire resist. I keep calling them heat resistant. Fire resistant potions. So we've got three. Was that 24 minutes? Bounce around for a little bit and see what we can find. So I actually spawned right here and there was a couple blazes. So I grabbed some blaze, blaze rods and kind of dipped out. So. Oh. Give me your head. Ooh, chest. Nothing in it. I think I already did explore a little bit of this. Or the, not me, the guys that were on were running around. So, I think all that was in that chest was some gold horse armor and a gold chest plate. So, I apologize for the darkness. We're not really set up for night vision just yet. I'm getting dizzy.
So here's a little uh, tip for you guys. If you're running around in the nether and you don't have your fire resistant potions yet, and you're trying to get the ingredients to make you a brewing stand, is you can get really close to the blaze or run up on a blaze and hit it and it, the fire will go out. So, oh, here's a chest that didn't get explored. A couple of things. Anyway, it'll prevent him from throwing them flames at you and burning you up. So. But, man, it is really dark in here. Let's see. First time in, I'll get my bearings eventually. So, the goal is before I leave, three wither skeleton skulls. So this could take a while. We don't have a lot of food on us either. And the golden apples, I brought those. They got fire resistance on them, plus absorption resistance, all the goodies. So, they'll come in handy in a pinch. And nothing up there. So see, smack him, the flame went out. So it looks like somebody was in here throwing a couple torches. I'm going to have to remind myself to light this up before I come back out here. A nice open area. Hello, Mr. Blaze. Bye, Mr. Blaze. Uh, there's a spawner there. Cool. Let's go kill these guys. Two of them spawned, didn't they? Or is it just one? I'm just one. So I collect the blaze rods and the uh, now that they're dropping glowstone dust again, finally. Let's kill this guy. Maybe we'll get ahead here. Ow. Oh, I'm so used to my... I know, you guys are going to get tired of me griping, but I'm used to my other world where I had a uh, Smite 5 sword. You can one-shot those wither skeletons, so... They're not too bad. Gas trying to ruin my video. Go away, Gas. Come on, come, come. On. <laughs> Gas got him. There's. Uh, did you see it? We'll check it out in a second. I think I just got a skull. So, the blaze rods come in handy for uh, you know brewing, of course, the the blaze powder. And then you can also use that and combine it with slime balls, slime balls to make your magma cream for your fire resist post potion. So, anyway, all right, hey, hey, play nice. <laughs> I wonder what knocked me off there. I don't think it was that blaze. I think it was a. Oh come on! Holes everywhere. The Nether is a wonderful place to be. Hey, stop! Stop it! Oh, come on, don't, don't die. I've got one with a skeleton skull. I can't die now. Panicking, panicking. Alright, there we go. This is my hill now, punks. You take some, and you take some. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We got that sort or settled down. And that was almost a goner. I've got decent uh, diamond armor, got me a decent sword, decent pick. I'd suck to die now. So, let's go through and try to get us a couple more wither skeleton skulls. So, let's see. What's out there? I'm trying to see if I can see anything out there like a gas. Those things are annoying. I need to set up an AFK fish farm and get me a bow. Or see if the AFK fish farm even works still. I was Because of the problems I'm having with my last world, I'm actually following the bug tracker pretty close this time around. This update anyway. And, uh, geez, guys everywhere. Settle down. Um, and someone was saying something about, you know, I can't get enchanted books when I do my fishing, so... We're finally going to move. We did get away the skeleton skull, so we're going to throw that out. Let's see. We need to put that thing down on the bar here in a minute, but you know, like I was saying, they were saying, oh, we can't catch enchanted books and so on and so forth. So that's something I'm going to have to put to the test on my own 
and not really rely on you know what people say on the internet so it's on the internet you can believe it right <laughs> um, not having a bow is kind of a pain when you're in here trying to fight ghast oh, come on aggro me I miss my smite five sword oh well and then these freaking guys there's another reason for a bow them skeletons man so come on get away why stop dancing you see that that skeleton shot that with a skeleton each with a skeleton I was actually mining uh, in between the first clip and the second clip and I was caving trying to get some iron uh, pre-planning for the beacon that I'm trying to get now and uh, there was a zombie was it a zombie village or a zombie and two skeletons and one skeleton shot one zombie one skeleton shot the zombie villager and it was an all-out brawl it was hilarious so that was fun to just sit back and watch and I did a little bit of a pro skill blew up a mob with a creeper that was pretty cool oh I didn't record it unfortunately but man back and forth back and forth I didn't have nothing special in my last world for getting wither skeleton skulls but it was Oop, we need fire resistance it was a little bit better than this uh, we've got one more potion we might have to step back out and make a couple more now that we've got a few more magma creams I don't look like there's anybody down there. I saw that. Come here. I got an eye for you. So, well, rather than having you guys sit through a boring process of me going back and forth, back and forth, we'll make a quick cut here. See how long it takes us to get a couple more skulls, and I'll come back to you guys. Check this out. I'm glad I caught this on camera. Watch this shot. Suck on this ghast. Bam. <laughs> Got you, fool. And I didn't look. I don't know how many uh, gas tears drop when you kill a ghast. I'll have to check that out, but that was definitely more than one. So I wonder if the looting effect on my sword actually affects them even when you hit the fireball back. Hmm. Some more testing to be done. All right, guys. I'll come back to you here in just a minute. So, we've been at this for about two hours now, running back and forth, and we still have just the one skull. So, I'm going to kill a few more, and, oh, yes! <laughs> two hours, man. I was only going to kill a couple more and then just try it again later. Now, we've got to try to get a third one. Oh, this has been painful. little neck pop there I don't know if you heard it so yeah in the previous clip I'm glad I was kind of recording and uh, actually Xbox has got a, a record that feature where you can capture like the last minute or two of what you were doing and that was a pretty awesome shot to that stupid ghast they've been kind of wrecking me um, before I come in here again definitely gonna have to get a bow Oh, I'm hoping I can get a third one soon. Let's see, here's another guy. There's one over there. Nothing, dang it. Come on now. Some zombie pigmen just hanging out. I'd like to thank the Blaze for lighting the area while we're playing. Appreciate it. Checking my fire resist. We're still good. Oh, we ran out of fish. We did have some, uh, or we had to go back, get some more fire resist, get a little bit more food. So, bye. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nothing, dang it. Alright, let's go get this guy. I think I saw another one down the other tunnel as well. I'm only gonna, I'm so tired of being in the nether and going back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> oh. We're just gonna kill a couple more and head out. So I was hoping to kill the wither before I left today, or before I ended the episode. Kill these couple of guys and we'll see what happens. I never even noticed there's another blaze spawner right there. So. Two on one. I see it. There's number three. Yes! Alright guys, I'm going to get out of here and I'll be right back. So it only took about two and a half hours roughly and we got some some decent stuff some magma blocks quite a few different little bits and bobs from the uh, nether there so now we're gonna go dig us a little hole find us a nice space and take out the wither so we brewed up some strength two potions the uh, the ones with the glowstone dust we got us our golden apples we should be set. I don't have anything but a looting sword and some basic diamond armor, so I'll take the redstone. We did do some mining as well. We got us another pickaxe, so now we have a fortune and a uh, silk touch. This looks like a good spot. Actually, I need that iron, so I have to mine that out. And there's more iron. So if you're watching this part of the video and you don't know, it takes two stacks of 64 blocks and then 36 blocks and you will have enough to make you a full beacon which is what I'm going for so alright one here one here alright wish me luck alright <laughs> Drink the strength potion. Chew on an apple real quick. That'll give us some resistances, fire and such. Come on, man. Let's do this. Oh, and I didn't bring night vision. This is going to be really dark for you guys. I apologize. Come on. And I had a golden carrot in my stupid chest, too. Oh, this is easy, man. Easy. Weak. Alright. Sorry about the darkness, people. I must have got the nether star. I think that's the, f the least I've ever been prepared for a wither fight, and it still went pretty smooth. Grab me some redstone. Got some contraptions to build. Yeah, there's the nether star. Alright. So, well, we're going to build the beacon at least. When we don't have anywhere near enough iron, I think in total I might have one full stack of blocks. Or enough iron to do one full stack, but I don't have enough iron to do the whole thing. Or gold or diamonds or any of that either. So you need five sand, three obsidian, and a nether star. And we need to smelt this up. We have no glass. So... A little loot chest. We've been doing all right. All right. Let's get some hearts filled up. It's pretty decent. The only uh, piece of armor that has an enchantment on it is my uh, boots, and that's just some depth strider and some protection. So, <clears throat> slow. And I kind of breezed over, I didn't show you guys, but the enchantment table, you kind of see me wander past it. There's a super smelter that I passed. I've got a couple of farms set up, some nether wart. Uh, went through and organized all my chests, put signs on them. So i got a buddy, like I said, he's going to be on here helping me out a little bit. Um, and we're just going to turn this into the world, man. We're going to play on this one, so...
Nether star in the middle, three obsidian on the bottom, and surrounded in glass, and you have a beacon. Freaking awesome. Episode 2, beacon complete. And then, like an idiot, I gotta try to mine this. <laughs> oh. So. Yeah, there's almost enough there for a full. I, what's inside that super smelter over there? Should have enough, so. Like I said, we got us an enchantment table set up, a farm set up, some sugar cane, vine farm. So, we started work on our main build, but. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.